Hello and welcome to episode 27 of the Player 3 Podcast. I'm your host, Luke Croft. Alongside me, we have the always visually stunning Larry Hunt. Hi. And alongside me on this side, we have he can fix you a nice delicious glass of Pepsi and steal Leanna Wallace's heart. Ladies and gentlemen, Doug Martin. You think I can fit this whole microphone in my mouth? Do it. Uh, don't try yeah, it. Do try it. it. Try it. So try it. Do, do it. it. It's it's do it. Down right the shafts. Do it. Down, do down do the it. shafts. You can't say that. <laughs> <laughs> and sitting next to me over here, we have Benjamin D. Hankins. The D stands for Doctor Who accent. Let's hear it. I'll die by Tina, all right? <laughs> <laughs> what? So bad. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> where's, where's Rose? I'm die by Tina, all right? Where's Rose Tyler? <laughs> where's Rose Tyler? <laughs> and then I'll just round and round and round. <laughs> I'm not British, okay? I'll run into Gallifrey. <laughs> That's all I have to say about that. I don't have any kind of British I don't want to go. <laughs> <laughs> Ew, it almost I made me cry again. I knew that's what it was. That's, I knew it. I knew that's what it was. Because I've seen that before. We need to do some okay. voiceover work on some Doctor Who episodes. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> I'll dive out on that. <laughs> For, forget reviews and serious stuff. That's what we need to do. Everyone's doing reviews. Nobody's doing Forrest Gump voiceovers. <laughs> <laughs> we're hits um all right uh we are the player three podcast i forgot that we weren't in the pre-show <laughs> oh yeah we are the player three podcast we get together every monday to talk about video games and terrible voiceover ideas and uh we push this out on itunes podbean stitcher youtube.com slash player three podcast all those different places if you want to help us out the biggest way to help us out is to uh, drop a review for us on iTunes. I'm going to get my boy Dizzy to uh, drop a link in the chat when he hears this in like 30 seconds to our iTunes, and you can check that out there and leave us a review. Then we will read those out on the podcast. Uh, if you're viewing along, hit the follow button. Feel free to ask questions, and Diz will pass those things along to us. But we are going to get this episode started like we get every episode started. Over. Which we probably should this week. <laughs> with. That's off a great start. Man. That was that was a solid start, guys. Beautiful right, okay. energy okay. again. It's nice reflowing. It's We're good. probably just gonna have to bleep out almost everything. So that's it. Hey, hey, hey. Am I the only one who drinks coffee now? Well, uh, we uh, we I had to drink mine a little earlier. I was starting to drag. So, oh, okay. Some of us have been up since six thirty, Larry. Yeah, Larry. yeah, I know. Cause our screaming infants woke us up. Can I can I get a hot five? Can I get? Yeah. Can I get? A, None of you were there. Can I get a hot tub? Me up at five thirty, five o'clock. Like that. that was your biggest mistake for uh, having a child. That was your biggest mistake for getting married. <laughs> and, All right. and, and it went, like, and it went just like this. Uh, ben, can you stop snoring, please? <laughs> I, love, I love you, Nicole. Tonight. Tonight. <laughs> <laughs> love you, Nicole. All right. Anyway, we're going to get this week started with the releases of the week. This is of the way. Clap, clap. <laughs> so bad. It's so bad. All right. That's so good. The big title releasing this week for both consoles is going to be Mortal Kombat X. What is that what noise? Is, happening? is the volume on your phone up? Oh, gosh, it is. <laughs> I'm like, I can How hear voices. Mortal Kombat X. Mortal Kombat X is coming out. Uh, you have your no pre-order uh, thing intact so far. So far, man. Um, I, I really want to be Goro. Yeah. I'll just buy them later for no, 20 won't. bucks. You won't buy them <laughs> later? I won't buy them later. <laughs> You'll try them out in that free tower. Is gonna, is gonna, will Goro be there? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'll be I will be yeah, Carl. The DLC will, stuff will. Okay, we'll rotate okay. through. Yeah, is, the uh, Carl Weathers. Gonna, I will be Carl Weathers. I don't think Freddy Krueger is going to be in. Not this Freddy. Year. They're doing Jason this time. Oh, yeah. yeah. So you guys watched the stream. Uh, what it looked like? Beautiful. Awesome. It looks gorgeous. It looks really like faster paced than last year, which I didn't really think. And I really like how they took some of what they learned from Injustice, kind of doing a different franchise, and um, they kind of. They didn't do necessarily all the spatial things that Injustice did, like being able to go from different parts of a map, but um, you can like bang somebody's head against a an Aztec pillar. Do we know for sure they haven't done that? I haven't seen I it. See it I, I the, haven't yeah. seen it in any streams so far, so I'm, I'm assuming. Did they have that in the last Mortal Kombat? They didn't have no. That was that was uh, exclusive to Injustice. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Which was one of the cooler things in Injustice. Yeah, it, it felt worked really, really well. Good to to do it bash somebody through a wall and are there any interactable like yeah there's things interactable on the map yeah like you can um like what we were talking about like there was a pillar at one point in this little aztec area map or it looks like aztec it's probably it's probably some kind of oh yeah you said this i'm sorry something but um like uh you can like jump off of a little statue's head like a giant head kind of like you could in injustice off a car or something like that and do some flips flip turns hmm. looks good i'm yeah. sure it'll feel good too tony hawk pro combat yeah, the, the fatalities look even better this year. 
The what? The fat- fatalities. Oh, uh, okay. Fatalities. Yeah. Hey, can we have a an early random question? Just a just a pre random question. Okay, yeah, sure. Pre random question. All right. What, what random ga- question of the way? What out of place <laughs> game characters would you like to see in a Mortal Kombat? Game? Oh gosh. <laughs> okay. Um, just for the sake of uh, context, Force Gump. <laughs> would be really good if you could fight in the beginning rounds with his leg brace, and then for your second life, the leg braces fall off. <laughs> and you get a like a end- spoiler alert. <laughs> <laughs> Those leg braces don't stay on forever, guys. You go for your first like roundhouse kick, and they just pop off. Yeah. Um. It's hmm. weird. Uh, Vegeta. <laughs> Vegeta. He wouldn't be too out of place. I don't think. Yeah, he would, dude. He's freaking super. He's like Saiyan. shooting power stuff. Right? Nacho Libre. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Any of the doctors, because what are you just going to do? Screwdrive people to death? Yeah. Yeah. You There's... can call the TARDIS in to fly on top. Right. Of <laughs> Weeping angels. Yeah. Yeah. You just stand there totally oh, still can... until someone yeah. turns around. <laughs> they have to turn their backs, and then you can. But you instantly kill them if they actually. It goes turn into around. super mm-hmm. slow motion, and you just wreck them. But they can't do any damage to you because you're made out of stone. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I was thinking Tony Hawk. That's what got me started here. You want to see Tony Hawk in one? Yeah, just like cutting heads off with a skateboard. Awesome well, you remember what? What was the? Sh- was it Shaq Fu? Was that what it was called? What was? No, that was the movie. What was the video game that Shaq was a a playable character in? Shazam. No, I'm gonna look it up. Uh, you guys give some more ridiculous ones. Uh, um, the one of the monsters from Evolve. I just say that because I'm watching the stream right now. It's got <laughs> Evolve. You're not. Uh, the, oh, the advertisement. <laughs> yeah. the I, oh, we I was like, that, it that's stream. always just watching. It, it was called Shaq Fu. Boom. Suck it. Suck it. Uh, Sean and Gus. Ooh, yes, as a tag team. Yeah. Who's Where, the guy from Adventure Time? Finn. Finn or Jake? Yeah. Jake's the dog. And the Finn's ice the human. Oh, the Ice King. Ice King from Adventure Time. I n- so, I've never seen that show. I the Master know. Chief. Unstoppable. OP. OP. Because he doesn't even have to grab OP. his gun. He just has to mm-hmm. hover his hand six That'd inches like away quick, from like, it. That would be like a little, uh, little distance thing. He could be like, pow, pow, pow. And then, you know, you just let it go and it kind of magnetizes back to your Let it go. Back to your body. Elsa from they Frozen. How many of those different colored ninja dudes do they, they have? they got Reptile. S- reptile. Sub-Zero. Scorpion, Scorpion. Sub-Zero. Smoke. Right. Smoke. Smoke. Is a white one? They have the, no. They have the cyborg ninja. Oh, uh, Noob Cyrax. It's kind of ninja. Mm-hmm. No, 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 no. Noob Cybot. I'm sorry. Rain's purple. Yeah. Purple yeah. rain. <laughs> I never purple got rain. it. <laughs> Prince. <laughs> Prince. In Mortal Yeah. What is there any more? <coughs> what colors are missing from from the from the ninjas? Huh? Many, many. Trying colors. to think of a new ninja. A new ninja. New Ninja. Oh, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Ooh. Put those is in there. Is there an orange ninja? Oh, and put Daryl from not. The Walking Dead in there. Yeah. They, should, they, should, they yeah. should do an orange flame ninja. Well, no, Liu Kang, I guess, is the flame ninja. And they put Shane in there, and like all he does is rub his head and say, Takes yes, his head some. Off, rubs his head real and they put, they put Carl in there, but you can only fight in the indoor spaces, because you have to be in the house. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Carl, get in the Wait, house. Carl's been out of the house before, hasn't he? Oh, wait, this is Carl in Walking Dead. I'm thinking Carl from Aqua Teen Hunger Force. <laughs> <laughs> Even better. Yeah, that'd be good, too. I'm down with that. Right, Meat we, we better move on. Yeah, I think we're distracted. beating a dead horse here. Okay. A dead horse. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, so that is everything that's coming out uh, on both consoles. There is nothing that I could find that is coming out exclusively on Xbox One. I'm sure that's not true, but it's just hard for me to find that stuff. And then here is the PlayStation <laughs> drop for this week. Um, It's loading. Here we go. Purple rain, worry, purple rain. All right. I want to mention this because it's awesome. There's a PS2 Classic bundle coming out that's going to have the three Grand Theft Autos that were on PS3. It's going to have... PS2. PS2, sorry. Uh, GTA 3, GTA Vice City, and then San Andreas. It's going to be awesome. I'm going to pick that up so that I can uh, play it on my Vita. All right. Um, we have Tesla Grad. Tesla Grad is a 2D puzzle platformer with action elements where magnetism and other electromagnetic powers are the key to discovering the secrets kept in the long abandoned Tesla Tower. Gain new abilities to explore a nonlinear world with more than 100 beautiful hand drawn environments in a steampunk inspired vision of old Europe. Edison sucks. <laughs> yeah. The only, only game I can think of that was actual, like a good 2D non-linear game was that Shadow Complex game. The Xbox Arcade Shadow Complex game. I wonder how this is going to be. Mm-hmm. I don't know. 
I have literally no idea what you're talking you about. You ever played Shadow Complex? No. I mean, <laughs> there, are a lot of, there are a lot of games out there. There's, uh, would Metroidvania games be considered linear games? All, uh, they just take place in one world. They're kind of. I mean, it just it just depends. You explore because Ori and the Blind Forest is a 2D platformer that. It's non-linear. It's non-linear. I would say. Huh. I mean, there's a there's like a linear storyline through it, but you can explore wherever. Maybe I just don't understand what non-linear means. It means not in a line generally. Time's not like a lie. Larry is like, like scrubbing his beard. It's like a mic. circle. Anyway, Titan Souls like comes out this week. Oh, yeah, Titan Souls is coming out. <laughs> <laughs> Seth is trying to keep us on track today. <laughs> Between our world and the world beyond lie the Titan Souls, the spiritual source and some of all living things, now scattered amongst the ruins and guarded by the idle Titans charged with their care, a solitary hero armed <clears throat> with but a single arrow is once again assembling shards, not shards, <laughs> of the Titan Soul in a quest for truth and power. That looks Wait, like a pretty what? cool game. I've been kind of keeping my eye on it for oh, a yeah. while. I doubt I'll buy it. What's it look like? What's it? Um, kind of. It reminded me. It's not really. I wouldn't say like Metroidvania, but um, I don't know. It's been a while since I've looked at it. I just remember it being pretty interesting. How, how does a single arrow thing work? How does that work? Well, exactly well, like Daryl does. Have you seen Guardians of the Galaxy? Galaxy. No. Well. What? Yes, I have. I have not The guy and he whistles and the arrow thing, which is actually Merle. Yeah. In blue face paint. <laughs> yep. What's his name? Like Yondu? I don't know. I'm lost. And that blue face paint is a couple shades away from being very racist. <laughs> I'm wearing blue face today, guys. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then we have We Are Doomed coming out. We Are Doomed is a twin stick <laughs> shooter where you zap polygon baddies with an absurdly overpowered laser beam, dive headfirst into the action with reckless ambition, charge the super beam, and zap everything out of existence in an instant. Chase high school. High scores, or just enjoy the beautiful explosions of geometry, color, and light. I do enjoy reckless ambition. Well, this feels like a game that a lot of high people would enjoy playing. I'm going to say this, and it's going to be um, sound very negative, but I feel like every week that I read the drop, I'm reading about the same three games over and over again. <laughs> Anyone else feel like that? Like a lot of puzzle games. Yeah, a lot of puzzle <laughs> games, a lot of 2D games, and... Stuff like that, which I guess not everything can be like. There's space for all that stuff, but uh, it comes a point where it's like, how many 2D puzzle platformers can you have on a console and it and it do well on the store? But there's obviously people wanting them and playing them. Uh, Milky five one three says he'll buy that game if it comes with real sharks. So, uh, Milky, if you have the right diet, everything comes with real sharks. <laughs> <laughs> we can what? mail them for you to you for four hundred pounds. <laughs> <laughs> What? What's the conversion value on pounds to pesos? On pounds, I don't know. What's the, <laughs> what's the conversion ratio on pounds to poopy? <laughs> pounds to poopy. Milky, if you haven't before, you should get on the uh, on Amazon and look at the reviews for sugar-free Haribo gummy bears. And that's what you should purchase. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh yeah. Well, I don't think we can read any of those on the air. <laughs> they're so good. They're so good. Speaking of reviews, you guys haven't given us an iTunes review in a while, so if you haven't done that, you should, and we'll read it to you. <laughs> Just reiterating. <laughs> Just reiterating. Just making you guys feel bad for yourselves. You, you, your disappointments to me. <laughs> My gosh. All of our fans hate us. So that's the releases of the week. Releases of the week. Clap, clap. <laughs> <laughs> Or do you like these better? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> as long as they're not melodic in any fashion. <laughs> you should sing the next one in that voice. Okay, All right, here you. we go. Moving on to the news. News with the podcast, guys. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. Yeah, I like it too. All right. Number one. The best part. Never mind. I'll point out the best part when the best part happens later. All right. Uh, huh? Uh oh, oh, Zephyr wrote us a review. Awesome, heard that. Thank you. Um, and it, uh, he put a laughy face beside it, so it's probably sarcastic. <laughs> Give us one star. <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh, at the end of the month, Treyarch and Activision will debut their trailer for this year's Call of Duty installment. Ready for it? I'm very aroused. <sighs> Call of Duty. Oh yeah, drum roll. Call of Duty Black Ops Three. Bam. Yeah, nobody cares. Yay. I was so disappointed by I'm, this. I'm game. happy. I'm happy. That's like one of my favorite uh, franchises. I know you love the the Black Ops series, but I I had gotten myself so excited and pumped for the World at War 2, and now it's not coming. And Seth, do you know about... Oh, you have a finger. No, no, you're okay. You're okay. Go ahead, go ahead. Seth, do you know about the finger. setting yet? No, not yet. Okay. You'll be disappointed before this is over. Yeah. Go ahead, Ben. 
Okay. Do you, will zombies be free with this one? I wonder because you had to pay for zombies. You had to pay for the expansion pack for Advanced Warfare to get zombies. That was in a different, a different company though. So I would assume. Yeah, I would hope so. Because that's all, my favorite part about Call of, the Call of Duty Black Ops and War War Games is zombies. Okay, if I was being contrarian to you, I would say Activision publishes this, uh, them just the same, so they may charge. But to be contrarian to you, I would say Black <laughs> Ops is. Uh, this is how my brain works. Is about how to be contrarian. Um, is that Black Ops like zombies is Black Ops thing is Treyarch? Yeah, yeah thing, you know. So um, I don't imagine they'd charge for it just because. I think a lot of people would be very upset about it because they expect because they haven't done it before. Yeah, from a Treyarch game. Uh, let me see. There is some speculation. I don't know if uh, it. Let's see. Here we go. CharlieIntel.com uh, took a picture of uh, something from the reveal material for this stuff and kind of enhanced it, and it shows that the. Soldier for Black Ops 3 is in an even more intense exosuit, so possibly taking place even further in the future. I would like that a lot. I love the exosuit. Advanced warfare. I uh, keep uh, wanting to disappoint you, Seth. Let me disappoint you. All right? Because I am so disappointed, and I want someone to share in my disappointment. Try again. I share your disappointment. Thank you, Larry. This is why we're best friends. But neither Seth of you guys, neither of you guys enjoyed friend. Advanced Warfare, though. I'm a little disappointed. If it helps you, that helps. Riding the fence. What I'm, what I'm disappointed about is, what well, is it going to be the same guy? It's Mason again, right? Is it because that's what the trailer said? It was a guy talking to it. Mason. Didn't Mason kill JFK? <laughs> the world may never know. <laughs> at the end of at the end of Black Ops Two, wasn't him like in the crowd at the? Did you play the campaign? You didn't play the campaign. I played the campaign. I don't remember that though. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert, JFK is dead. Uh, no, I thought that took place in like uh I don't know. They redid they did the uh they finished all the stuff and they gave you all the like the back junk from Reznov, but you come to find out that like you come to find out all the stuff about Reznov and then they do a the numbers thing and then you go back in time and they show a picture of you at the JFK assassination. Oh. Showing how like that number sequence was to activate you to do something yeah, to kill JFK, yeah. With an ice bullet? I don't know, maybe. On the command of the mob? Probably. Possibly. <laughs> During the uh, Cubs game? What? <laughs> <laughs> Everything I said was actual theory. What you said <laughs> makes me think that maybe you did it. <laughs> <laughs> I thought Henry Ford did it. Henry Ford with an ice that is, pick. That was a car. <laughs> In the study. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, I'm kind of disappointed by this. I really wanted a World at War uh, 2 game because I think with, <clears throat> I think this is what, uh, let's see, I think Infinity War is going to stay in the future. I think Sledgehammer is going to stay in the future. And so I kind of wanted something that can break up the monotony of the annual releases of Call I, of Duty. I feel like it's going to be very hard for Call of Duty as a, as a whole, you know, each of the three companies, to go back to that kind of old style, the way it used to be, where you're just a soldier, you're a foot soldier, you're out there on the battlefield running around. Everything's been so much more fast-paced. Even Ghosts, have, where it had its kind of semi-futuristic technology, I feel like it's just going to go back and to that kind of slower-paced means of moving around. And you got go you, you to think about, like... <coughs> Every game that came out back when Call of Duty was doing the World War Two and World War One stuff, like it was all like everything was in that time period. So nothing was futuristic. So like they broke the mold when they started doing the when they brought out Modern Warfare original Modern Warfare and went into the future or present you know, present slash future kind of deal and um I think going back would be a cool like revamp too but it, it also like uh, people are looking at it kind of like this exo thing is m more in the future so it's another step they're looking at so that I, th may be why I think taking. that not necessarily in terms of future and past but um, first person shooters have been progressing in terms of movement speed like in halo you couldn't sprint in the past and eventually they added sprint after call of duty came along and moved things a lot faster and now you've got sprinting, you've got uh, you know dodge abilities going back and forth. You can do the same thing in Evolve. Uh, Halo 5 is going to be really fast-paced. Halo 5 is more fast-paced than Advanced Warfare by far, I think. You, really? I think so. You, you just you sprint so fast, when you're sprinting for a few seconds, you get that boost from your jetpack. Because I never got oh, to play yeah. Halo. My, so uh, Xbox eventually we're just going to be teleporting from place to place, like in Destiny. It's just like and, Halo on 300% speed. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, I think... 
a couple of things. First of all, the technology is what makes the technology of these games is what makes them like fast paced and kind of chaotic and stuff. Whereas mm. I think you can recapture the chaos in a world war two setting just from the sheer volume of people that are involved in it. And, uh, there's just there can be so much going on around you at a time. If you could do like, like a like, battlefield sixty four per- person match with like a small like a, like a thirteen person map, <laughs> let's see what we can get going on there. And, and destructible uh, environments. They should go even further back to the revolution. Ooh. And do like a you want to talk about thing fast paced. Warfare. <laughs> <laughs> where saying, we're all standing in a line. You know, the militia in the, pa- in the Patriot where they're yeah. like jumping tree to tree with muskets. Like uh, that would yeah. be awesome. But you gotta think. You be? gotta think about those games. Like you, it takes so long to reload a musket. <laughs> You're gonna be sitting like, all right, you bam. Them, you get you one. Just carry sh- a backpack full of muskets that are already loaded. <laughs> 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 it's like shibu, shibu. <laughs> you just throw them down. Like this is useless now. <laughs> Oh, there is a funny uh, scene in Sleepy Hollow. I don't know if you guys have watched that show, but the first time Ichabod Crane, if you don't know the premise, Ichabod Crane was like cursed. And so he wakes up in our time. He was a, a soldier in the Revolutionary War. And the first time he uses a handgun, he fires his one shot and then drops it and runs away. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then I, th- I think this leaves an area for somebody. I think. What we saw from the teasing of uh, World at War Two was that there is an interest in going back, mm-hmm. and I think there, you know, there's speculation that there's going to be some flashback stuff to the World War Two era in this game. Um, now, what that's going to look like, or how much of it is going to happen, I don't know. I doubt online play is going to have anything like that, you know, right. unless there's like specific maps where you have World War Two technology and specific maps that have future technology, but. I think from the interest that they saw people, like some company is going to step in and try to fill this void. And uh, like we already have a reimagining of those sorts of events with, uh, with Wolfenstein, but somebody is going to pick up the slack and say, we're going to make a World War II game that is kind of... Because when people talk about the greatest missions in, in video games, they always talk about the Call of Duty 2 Normandy yeah. at the very beginning. When you storm Normandy, storm the beach yeah, is really and, awesome. Uh, I think going playing like real things that happened is what makes it so like playing something that actually happened. Like that was what the appeal of like Assassin's Creed was. Like you're going back to the Fr- French Revolution, you get to experience a lot of the Assassin's Creed gameplay is fun. I know this we're not talking about Assassin's Creed, but a lot of the gameplay that you have, I enjoy the most because you're reliving events that actually happened, and you kind of get to mold them to the way that you want them to, to take place. Now, you don't get, get to really do that in the Call of Duty games, but you still relive those real-life things. With the with these things, that, with these new games happening now, it's just, it's made up, like, wars that you're fighting that haven't actually happened or, you know. And it it's cool to kind of have that, that kind of flashback to, and that, I, think, I, think, I think that's why Normandy is such a fun mission to play for those old games, because you're, we weren't alive when that happened, so you, you get to experience. You know, you get to experience it. It's kind of cool. Just like the day that you assassinated JFK, we yeah. weren't alive for that either. No, the original Black Ops was Vietnam, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which um, was testy. That was a testy, uh, testy. Time. That was a, that was a rough time for all of us <laughs> to, to try to go back. <laughs> and Nixon was in there. office. Well, I'm glad you're excited about it, Seth. Yeah, I, and I'm, I'm, I, it's probably something I'll play. But I'm glad you'll buy it and play it for a couple of weeks and then trade what it. In. I won't. What if they take? Have they talked anything about the where the, the setting? It's super futuristic. I mean, it's going to be that? it's going to be at least somewhat in the future. I'm saying if they if they did like a if they did Black Ops Three, but it was it was World War Two, like you because the first one was Vietnam, the second one was more futuristic. Well, from the picture that was on there, that the guy's like wrapped up in really futuristic looking gimp yeah, suit. so unless they throw him in the TARDIS and get him to go back to the World War II. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> what if they discovered time travel? They're that far in the future that you go back in an exosuit and you try to uh, fix the events of World War II. And the TARDIS. Why would you fix the events of World War II? We won. <laughs> <laughs> Little uh, neo Nazi band over here. And then, <laughs> oh I'm not. I am not a neo Nazi. Where, where is Jew cremation <laughs> in the chat? Is he here? <laughs> but you, but you go back and and it's part of like Wolfenstein. It's Wolfenstein happens because of Black Ops Three. <coughs> 
Mother of God. <laughs> this is the game that connects all <laughs> games of the video game universe. Yeah, yeah. It's like what the, the heck is My Little Pony doing in it's here? It's like the Pixar theory. You guys have you ever heard of that yeah. that theory? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um. All right. Next item on the list: Destiny House of Wolves DLC is going to be released. On May the 19th, um, they released a trailer for it today. Um, I've never really bought like a season pass for anything, but now I'm discovering why people sell season passes because it requires you to hold on to their game. Mm -hmm. I, I've been holding on to my copy of Destiny to waiting for House of Wolves, hoping that whatever is contained within it is going to uh, add to the story that I was so longing for it to have originally. I think I'm... I'm still and just impressed by. I, there's a lot of story in Destiny. It's just not in the game, and I like. I really love when that trailer popped up for uh, the House of Wolves expansion. It's just gorgeous, and I really want there to be novels for Destiny, and I really want there to be comics for Destiny, and I would eat. I would eat that up. If they spent like, half as much time on the in-game story as they did on their announcement trailers, <laughs> that'd be an awesome exactly. story in Destiny. <laughs> there, there'd at least be double the amount of cutscenes. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I've missed that a lot on the, the current DLC. What? The the one the, I mean the the very the what was it? Uh, Crota something. Crota's Revenge or something? Crota's Awakening or I don't know what it what it was. Uh, what was it called? The Dark Below. Yeah, The Dark Below. Okay. I feel like I have <clears throat> not played Destiny. We played that for like a week when that came out, and I haven't played it since. I've been playing it on and off for a while. I mean, it's it just depends on what you want to do. I really want to do the raid <laughs> really bad, like super bad. Just the first raid. I'd if love to do the first raid. you guys would just level up, all you have to do now is you could do the first raid really easily if you just get the new armor that you can buy from the Crucible guy. Oh, you, you can? Yeah. Interesting. We may have to do that then. We that's that's the only raid. reason that I made it to level thirty, and then they'll be coming out with more new crucible armor and stuff with the next expansion that'll get you to like level probably thirty five or thirty six, something like that. Cool. Bam. Cool. Anything you're really hoping to see out of this? I'm just excited for more crucible maps. Most of the time, because I play Destiny alone, for the most part, unless you guys decide to get on. I don't really mess with strikes unless it's for the nightfalls or they've added matchmaking into the nightfall or um, heroic strikes. Um, so I'm excited just to get some more crucible maps and some more armor and stuff to kind of mess around. I love that universe and, and you know getting in there and playing. I just hate the story or lack thereof. Yeah, more gear would be cool, I think. Have you been playing Destiny since you got it back? Uh, not a lot because then I went and bought Dying Light. Oh, so yeah. When I play, that's mostly what I've been playing. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I, I got I got ran through Crota, the raid on Crota's stuff and. Uh, uh, did you do Crota's end? Yeah, and I got all kinds of neat armor for. What it. level are you? Um, I'm like 31 or 32 now. Really? The armor you get from that raid is ridiculous. Oh yeah, because I'm like level almost 31 and I've been playing since it came out, but I haven't done any raids, so that's why I'm behind. Yeah, the raid armor is where it's at. See, we need to do that. Big time, because you get just random stuff out of drops in the raid anyway. So like, right, right. even if you don't finish the raid, you still get all that junk. And here's the thing: when <clears throat> when Destiny Two or whatever it's called comes out, we're going to be able to go play on Xbox now with them. And so, um, unless there's some character carryover, which I imagine there probably will be, that's going to make that decision a little tougher for some people. Yeah, we'll probably see. You, not so much me. I don't care. <laughs> I care. So. Um. <laughs> Next item on the list, NBA 2K14 uh, attempted to shut down their servers after just a little over a year uh, after their release. And that what happened was, see, NBA 2K was a launch title that required to always be online for the most part. Any game mode that used this stuff called VC or virtual currency required you to be connected to their servers. So in the very beginning when their servers were down, it was a nightmare trying to play that game. Um, but then they took their servers offline, which locked people out of careers that they were probably deep into if they were still playing 2k14 at this point and so but they basically were like we're shutting them down we we said it was going to be like 18 to 27 months and they took that i think it just about the bare minimum 18 months and uh shut the servers down and uh or was it hold on yeah yeah that's right about 18 months and shut down the servers, locked these people out of their out of their careers, out of their franchise modes, and then there was an outcry, and they turned it back on. And where was the quote? Here, here it is. Quote: 
2K has restored the NBA 2K14 servers and all online services. Beginning today, we are extending the support of all NBA 2K servers from 18 to 27 months following each release, giving our players more time, this is the part I love, more time to experience and enjoy the highest rated NBA simulation video game franchise. The opinions of our community continue to have a positive impact on our business decisions as we strive to create the best possible experiences for all of our fans, end quote. Yeah. This was... This was just a poorly thought out business move across the board because you if you have people who are willing to stick with your game and play it that much for that long, then that means that they are dedicated, loyal fans to your game and to, to make a decision that locks them out of their careers and really kind of locks out half of the game that you created, that's, that's totally unreasonable, totally unfair. I mean, can you imagine if like Halo shut down their servers after – Two years of being online. People were still clinging to Halo 2 after what? This is a long time. It's like five, six, maybe. It was a long... I can't remember how many We years. played Halo 3 for a long time, too. The servers are still up for Halo 3, aren't they? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not sure about that. Halo 2 was up till a while into the Xbox 360 generation, though. So, but yeah. Being locked out that fast is ridiculous. <laughs> the, is uh, this common to sports games, or is this... <sighs> Not that I know of, and, and even if it is, the only thing that used to be tied to your server connectivity in online sp- uh, in sports games was uh, just playing against people online, right? Mm-hmm. And uh, but now that they hid so much stuff behind their servers, as far as the VC goes, like um, it made more of an impact. So I guess I'm not really positive what the standard is, but this was way this was a way different situation than that. Because it's new, it's new. Yeah. I mean, it's new technology. Did, do you, uh, MLB? Do they have the like a monopoly on the carrier stuff over? Career like, are they the only so. ones who can do save to save? <clears throat> yeah, I mean, year they, to year saves. Do they, uh, no, I don't think so. I think if if NBA were to, to employ that, this could work. That'd be okay. I think people so, wouldn't be as worried, be upset about. Uh, 18 month server shutdown if they could transfer their content to a next year game. Now you're going to be paying 60 bucks for every, an annualized title, but I'd do that anyways. See, I, I don't think people would be, I don't think that would make any difference whether or not some people may be okay with it then, but I still think you have a lot of people who are only casual sports game fans and don't want to go out and spend $60 on yeah. it. So they wait on it. And I mean, there is a way to play these games after. There is a way to play 2K in some of those game modes after the servers get shut down, but um, it's not as complete of an experience. And so, I think, I I, I think it's totally unfair, regardless, to say, "Hey, we're only going to support this game 18, 20 months after we've released it." Well, for me, and I'll play devil's advocate for a minute. Uh, if they told you within your purchase of the game that you're going to have the uh, the servers available from 18 to 26 months and you um and they waited at least 18 months before they took the servers down then i feel like they're within their right to do that i don't think it's right i was about to say it's not it's not a matter of whether it's right or wrong i mean correct or incorrect it's whether it's right or wrong right yeah Uh, dizzy's trying to um i still okay i never have that problem (laughs) um yes but but i i think if they were to from in my opinion, and that, I mean, it doesn't have to be right, but I feel like if they if they could get that transfer, I would love that anyways. Transferring your progress over, because yeah. I know there's, I, I get into my career mode on NBA 2K like really heavily. So to be able to transfer my players over, to be able to transfer teams from franchise mode over where you've made moves during past years, that would be really cool. So, and <clears throat> I think this is what a lot of people are worried about when. Uh, the word is escaping my mind. When Xbox announced their DRM stuff, is that? Yeah. And I think this is was the big concern of, I'll get content and then it's going to get yanked away from me one day. That was the first thought I had when I, when I saw this. And so, yeah. It, when we saw that uh, that outcry back in, in those days over the possibility of it, you'd think they would have picked up on, eh, people might not like this. Yeah. And this just doesn't bode well. I know this is probably competing against used games and stuff because you can only buy this as a used game for so long now. But uh, but I don't I don't like that games are beginning to look in this direction of I can put an expiration date on the game that you purchase. And I think that's why I'm so that's one of the the back lying like in the back of my head things that I when we had the DRM 
discussion not too long ago of why I want physical copies. Like, I can go back and play Skyrim right now because it's not a server-dependent game. I've got a physical copy of it. There's no reason why I can't play it, you know? And yeah. <clears throat> I, I hate the... For as much money as we put into video games, one, I mean, you don't have a movie that you lose server rights to pay in for, the, for a movie. That's a form of entertainment. You don't, if you buy a series of shows, you don't lose the rights to that series of shows by a server disconnection. So to lose the, video games are being like any other form of entertainment, it's just a hands-on interactive form of entertainment. We shouldn't be stifled by the amount of time that a server is able to stay up and run a game if if we're worried about playing the game at any point like for this like we were talking about you said a minute ago of course you're going to lose like head-to-head online capability without server connection but to still have the game to play by yourself there shouldn't be a, a time limit on that yeah so, it just makes yeah. it feel like a long-term rental mm-hmm. at that point like and that's unfair you have any thoughts I don't know no basketball good. <laughs> <laughs> or, teach me to basketball? or if you're going to give me an expiration date, also give me a reduction in price. <laughs> that, yeah. well, well, that's true. But it like you happen. said, at this point, the, really the only way you can really buy this game is used probably because yeah. they've, they're stocking shelves with NBA 2K15. And 2K. I'm saying from the get-go. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. If it's only going to have an 18-month shelf life, then I should only have to pay for 18 months out of it. And uh, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, Craig Jones one two three asks, uh, "What came first, the chicken or the egg?" The chicken. The chicken. We well, believe in the Lord. <laughs> 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 All right. Uh, next item on the list: the two PlayStation Plus titles this week, uh, this month, Tower of Guns and Aru's Awakening, have been received with much disappointment from fans. This is. This is really from the reactions of people on Reddit that uh, they say this is probably the weaker lineup of PlayStation <coughs> Plus games that we've gotten so far. But then we didn't have to have, what was it called? Uh, Dragon's Awakening? What was it called? What was the Xbox One game that everyone jokes all the time? I'm going to look it up. Games with Gold, Dragon. What was it? And it was called Crimson Dragon. It was on there for like four months straight, and everybody jokes about how terrible it was. I don't really necessarily want to talk about these two games because none of us have played them, but I want to talk more about this. When it comes to your uh, PlayStation Plus and your games with gold stuff, what are your expectations of those games? I expect something just enjoyable. I'm going to have fun with it. I'm not expecting like top shelf stuff, but every now and then I want to see something really good come of it. Uh, like like last month when we got Bioshock and um, Tomb Raider, that was that was pretty neat. And oh, the although they've been out for a while, yeah, right. although they've been out for a while, they were solid game choices. Uh, I I don't want it to I don't want to see it just be the bin where we chuck the stuff that nobody likes anyway, so you can have it for free. You throw stuff at me. Back to that chicken and the egg thing. I think the dinosaur came first. Um, you know, birds evolved, yeah. but. <laughs> from and, I think it, back, <laughs> and then back to the question that we just were talking about that I can't remember the phrasing of. Um, what are your expectations? Right. Um, I think it varies between generations. Um, I expect a little more, of course, from the 360 and the PS3 because you're getting titles that are a little older but are like these AAA or, you know, once upon a time AAA titles that really can take a lot of your time up. Um, when I'm looking at the PS4 and the Xbox One, I'm really just looking for something that can bide my time between huge releases like Mortal Kombat, um, anything like that. Like While I'm waiting on those games, these are the things that are tiding me over, like Fast and the Furious that we just played this week. Mm-hmm. I, uh, I may, my, my answer may be weird to you guys, but I feel like I've already earned, <clears throat> I've already gotten back what I've paid in PS Plus for the games. So anything right now is, to me is gravy for the, each every month. Like, uh, Infamous coming out for free was real awesome. I mean, that right there, I feel like, pays for the $40 that you pay for. I mean, it was a $60 game at release. No, so no, no. It was just the DLC. It was just the it. DLC that released for it. Which well, is probably like 20 PlayStation bucks. PlayStation Plus. Like that. Yeah. No, in, in the whole nah. Injustice, the whole thing. Oh, uh, Injustice. Injustice, oh, yeah, yeah, those are two different I said, things. I said the wrong thing. <laughs> Injustice, like, I mean, that's a, that was a $60 game when that when that came out. I mean, that, that getting that game for free is pretty, pretty dope. Um, like the, I'm bringing that word back, dope. Uh, I don't know. I, I just, I mean, it's always cool to get more than what you pay for, but you know, I'm I'm fine with anything they give me at this point. 
I've got you know I've gotten I feel like what I feel my money's worth out of it, and I still get to play online and stuff. And it's just that if it was forty dollars a month, that would be like, I would yeah. I would yeah. expect a whole lot more. But it being forty dollars in a year, like or what is it fifty fifty something? It's like fifty two or it's something fifty bucks like that. a year. Um, then I, you know I'm I'm happy with where we are with games that we've gotten. Uh, if I remember correctly, it was either I think it might have been the PlayStation Plus where they announced that they you were going to have to start play, paying for service to play online. They started talking about instant game collection. If, correct me if I'm wrong. Didn't they say something about how like all the games needed to be were going to be at least a seventy on Metacritic or something like that? There or was, was that some games standard. With gold? I don't think it was games with gold. That's why they had Crimson there was Dragon a standard though, yeah. And I think it was seventy on on Metacritic and. Um, I think it's weird that they are releasing these games that don't really have any reception yet because they're releasing them straight to instant collection. Um, that like, how can you do that when they don't have a Metacritic score? They don't. We, you don't know how these games are going to be received. Yeah. And, and I wouldn't mind so much if they move games like Tower of Guns or st- stuff like that to like a two week trial or something like that or a week long trial. You download it, you can play for a couple hours. But not have it take the place of a PlayStation Plus title that can be something that is a little bit more well established um, than than these new games. I I would be cooler with that. And I mean, really, they could just say we're going to charge you fifty bucks a year and you get to play online, and that should should be good enough. So like, you can't be too um, picky about the games, I guess. Um, cause I've been happy with the majority of them, but, uh, just allow them to be things that are established. Although I say that I'm arguing with myself at this point, but like I, Rezo gun <clears throat> released straight to PlayStation plus and that game and, was and amazing. That game was great. Yeah. So anyway, they're going to be hits or misses just yeah. by the nature of things. Uh, milky is hating on games with gold, which is fine because a lot of them have been awful. But IDAR was awesome. Yeah, IDAR was great. <laughs> yeah, IDAR was good. Rayman Legends. We got Rayman Legends. We got, uh, uh, well, you can't count really the 360 stuff. For, no, you can count the 360, but I mean, games with gold. I mean, Bioshock and... No, no, he, was, he specifically didn't like IDAR, which um, is fine. I guess oh, you're entitled okay, yeah, to your I opinion, see. even though your opinion's wrong. Uh, <laughs> Neverwinter, seriously? Like, that was, well, it wasn't games with gold. It was just free to play, but... I've heard Shot of Light is really good. I haven't it tried it yet. It is awesome. It is very good. It's got a party system, which I didn't realize. Uh. You, you build up a party, which is kind of cool. It's kind of mm. neat. I derailed us. Party time. Guacamole. <laughs> uh, and Guacamole. The new, the new, uh, the new uh, Call of Duty is uh, Black Ops 3. Yeah. Did yeah. somebody ask in the comments? Yeah. Yep. Um, let's see. <laughs> somebody, somebody said they hope that you're not Luke. <laughs> He's not. <laughs> why? So, why not? He What's doesn't wrong like with you. me. He doesn't <laughs> like you. He's letting down the gang because <laughs> you're not wearing a hat. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next item on the list. I'm a pretty Irish girl. Oh, oh I'm a pretty. Oh, I'm... He's putting on the everybody loves an Irish girl. Everybody yeah, loves an Irish lass. Yeah, don't mess the hair up for the, the hair, sake man. of the you audience. Guys are going... Oh my gosh, that looks ridiculous. Outside. <laughs> Jacob Savage bought me that hat. All right, um, here we go. Next item on the list Farming Simulator 15 is coming to consoles May 19th. Woohoo! Ooh, I cannot wait to grow of... some, some of the Indiana State flower corn. That's all your joke. And they come out with the expansion where you grow, you just grow your giant weed farm. <laughs> it's like Forza Horizon 2 presents Fast and Furious. It's uh, Farming Simulator 15 presents weeds. Right. right. <laughs> and Simu- Mary Louise Parker comes out and she's like, hey guys, let me teach you how to grow some pot. Farming Simulator Colorado. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and then you start growing your crack plants up and your meth plants. <laughs> Is that how it works? Yeah, that's what, that's what, oh, yeah. excuse me, guys. I got to go outside and water my crack. <laughs> 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 Uh, <laughs> I don't give two craps about Farming Simulator, but what I do want to know is what other <laughs> what other mundane tasks would you like to see turned into video games? Uh, watching paint dry. That was one of mine! How did you steal that from my brain? That's, <laughs> that's like the cliche example of a mundane task. You remember yeah. when we were watching the footage from South Park Stick of Truth mm-hmm. where um, you had to like button mash in order to get to a poop. poop out? Yeah, to poop. If you had a game where you basically go to a restaurant and select food from a menu and you eat the food, 
by you know pressing a series of buttons and analog sticks and whatever. And then based on what you eat, you go home. And like, I guess the screen kind of fades out and back in, and you're on the toilet, oh. and you're either peeing or making a poop. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And based on the food that you ate, like maybe you had some Thai food, you're gonna have to try. You're, you're gonna have to frantically press buttons to try <laughs> to get that runny poop. <laughs> <laughs> and then if you had something really solid, like a good old fashioned cheeseburger or like a cheesesteak, you have like a more solid poop, but it's more like a button holding. So thing. there's there are like extra levels where you have to fight to make it home. To, kind of to sort of like, like in Mortal Kombat, test your might, where you've got a button mash in order to like get like within a certain window and try to break through like steel. And if you don't, you die. Steel dragons and stuff like that. Well, you don't die. You just don't get the bowel movement out, and then you end up like <laughs> you know, going to the Then you end up on the date, and later on during the date, you evacuate. And your then you like the next day, you're going out on a date, and you're like, "Hey, baby, what's going?" And then, oh, I'm sorry, baby. And, yeah, I've got, I've got it all one. figured out. Game seventeen. But but also, if you eat something spicy, you have to press a series of quick time events to really make sure you're pouring the milk on your toilet paper pr- properly. Correct. Because because the milk satiates the burn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't know why you shake your head like that. Satiate is a dirty word. Um, because it's just the way you use it. Every time you use it, it's, it's a dirty word. <laughs> Every instance that satiate comes out of your mouth, it's a dirty word. I feel like Ben's got a list of 500 of these. I don't have a list. I've got two. Can can I do one more? Yeah, Yeah, go ahead. It won't hit your list. You think? Uh, A hacking (laughs) hacking simulator. So everyone buys it because they're real excited to be like this epic hacker, but then it's just you typing commands and command line. (laughs) (laughs) Larry, it won't hit your list. Uh, Ben, yes, it did. Really? (laughs) No, I'm just kidding. It didn't. Um, Okay. First one is is kind of an actual suggestion because my wife really loves these games and I think they're the most mundane task in the world. And then the second one is uh is kind of a, a cool one that I think would work really well. Um the first one is Diner Manager. It's a mundane Okay. Thing like Diner Dash. Kind of. But how would it be Diner different? Manager. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Where your employees show up late for work and yeah, you have you, to decide not, what to do with them. You don't actually do anything with the food or the restaurant. <laughs> it's just you are managing, like literally, you have to get the orders in, the make sure the food for the week is ordered. You have to are keep staying within payroll. You have to uh, manage the hours for your workers. I like it. They get pissed off because they don't get enough hours and they've got kids. So you've got to make sure that they they don't like you know. Poop in the food. Yeah. <laughs> right, right, right. You catch so you go, you go to the restroom and you catch your your head chef not washing his hands. So then bonus and level, the mascot that you hired, he's actually really good with kids. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> I lost it. I can't get it back. <laughs> Bonus level. I don't think that was an okay I direction. To say that. <laughs> that was the last thing I ever expected to hear. Oh my god! <laughs> You're going to hell. He's really good. <laughs> Oh my gosh! Uh, all right. Oh man, this is my real suggestion. Oh god, um, I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> this is a car wash manager. Oh my god! That was welcome to Management as, Three Podcast. Nowhere near as funny as uh as the uh, manager, but still as effective. You have to make sure all the car wash fluids are properly <laughs> checked. Fluids. And then all the brushes. I like restaurant intact. manager a lot better. <laughs> it's diner manager. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, how many restaurants, how many diners have a mascot that works at the restaurant? A lot of them. Chick fil A? Mm hmm. Is that a diner? diner? Can it be, it can be a diner. Whatever, who knows? <sighs> who knows? We're using the term diner very Where do we easy. even go? <sighs> All right. Uh, From here. Well, that, that's the show, guys. Um, <laughs> I was going to say DMV simulator, but I'm not going to make any jokes because none of them are going to be as fun. <laughs> There's a DMV worker who's just really <laughs> great with kids. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay. All right. Enough of that. 
That's this is the last episode ever. <laughs> <laughs> last item on the list for the news: Bound by the Flame developer Spider is working on a new title called Technomancer. Something that Ben thinks looks really cool and Luke thinks is really dumb. It, 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 I don't I mean, know if cool. the game necessarily looks cool or not. I think the name of it is dumb because it's like he's tr- going to try to kill you with Skrillex. This picture looks cool. He's got like lightning in one hand and uh, a sword, and a sword in, the in the other. Skrillex is dubstep, not techno. Oh, sorry, guys. Uh, um, why would you need a sword if you can throw electricity? Because you have to have like up close battles. Uh, did you see that news article where that dude in Argentina defended his house from home invasion? Oh my gosh, did you see the pictures? Yeah. It That's was why you need a sword. <laughs> that was horrendous. Did he cut somebody's hand off? But he, could that guy that cut the dude apart. up with a sword, could he shoot electricity out of his hand? Yeah, but is it as enjoyable? Sometimes you just gotta know. get down the nitty gritty. Sometimes. You gotta get meticulous with your yeah. dismemberment. And then... Electricity just allow. I mean, you got people. Why do? Why do uh, the electricity is figurative? It's metaphorical. Why do? Like, why do Sith lords use uh, force lightning? I they don't have a lightsaber. Yeah. Why do they use a lightsaber? If Luke, they have Luke lightning? hasn't. Luke hasn't seen a Star War yet. I haven't. I've not lived through. A I Star think War maybe yet. the lightning runs out of uh, <coughs> ability juice. I'm currently that's why you have a sword. ability juice. <laughs> there, there's a time. There's a time to write your name on a form, and there's a time to autograph it. That's why you carry a sword when you want them to remember. You feel I feel like you That's should autograph everything. Thing. Autograph <laughs> everything. That way no one can sell your autograph because it's worthless. Everything. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's been signed. It's it's, uh, it's an identity protection by volume. Um but yes, this game does not look very cool to me. Why does it look cool to you? Because he has lightning in one hand and a sword in the other. Like that's, what? Seriously? I <laughs> really like steampunk stuff. Oh, I'll holy cow. It. Oh, I thought, I thought this was a poorly photoshopped picture of a spider holding a, a light gun here. This is—he's got a lightning uh, bow staff now. That's awesome. Bam. Uh, here's the other thing that I thought was real cool about that game: uh, quest lines with five different possible endings. That's neat. That seems kind of cool. I like having real choices and not just the semblance of choice in a game. Mm, yes, I enjoy the <laughs> semblance of choice, much like life. <laughs> uh, what do you think about it, Seth? Um, I don't think I really looked into it that much. I didn't see the link there when I was looking through the, uh, the show notes. But, I mean, you're not actually wielding techno, are you? I have no idea. They don't have a video. Uh, blah, I hope blah, the blah, blah, blah. that stuff. Oh, I just it. got it. Technomancer, like techno. I think what it is, it's sort of like technology. Like uh, William Gibson did a novel, like Neuromancer, where kind of the same thing. Oh, which is where Straylight Run gets the name of their band from. Really, from Neuromancer? Because they go to Straylight Run in Neuromancer. Is that the guy who does uh, the baseline? Looks where like it someone didn't read there. the book. Oh what? no, it, uh, it wasn't called Straylight Run. It was is called that the uh, one where the guy shoots an arrow from his bass guitar. No. Uh, that's protest the hero. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just missed that video so much. Just the guy getting javelin from the guy's bass guitar. It's so awesome. <laughs> Straylight Run's the <laughs> best band ever. Are they? Y- yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. I'll put them in the top five. Really? Yeah. Really? I love you. That's why we Let's became touch friends. Beards. That was on there. Yeah, yeah, saw Welcome All to right, Porno videos. Three Podcast. All right, so that's it. That's uh, that's news. All right, now we're the move. podcast guys. <laughs> All right, dude. Now we move on. Seth has reviews. Reviews for you. Hey, how's you going? Pl- what'd you play this week? Um, I just, other than the the standard fare, I went and checked out the Forza Horizon Two presents Fast and Furious, and it was really underwhelming. Um. I wasn't really expecting much. I love um, that word because it, it sounds like you're saying overwhelming, but it's under. But it's under. It's yeah. underneath it all. Gwen Stefani. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Oh. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I yeah, you're all right. Um, I wasn't expecting much. I was really expecting this to be just a way to get people hyped for Fast and Furious, and it did work kind of. Basically, the formula of the game is that you're you start off you're just driving in a yellow Lambo like on the cover of uh, Horizon Two. And Ludacris starts giving you a location to go over some kind of phone or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> For the beard touches? Yeah, Zephyr Baby was very concerned about what that beard touch was. Mm-hmm. Don't they don't have those in uh, Player Europe. 3 podcast functions play. on a strict don't ask, don't tell policy. Um, <laughs> Stop talking! <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, Ludacris gives you some missions. And of course, Ludacris plays a, a character that's repeated on Luda. most of the Fast and Furious films. Luda. 
And uh, he, ba- he basically, and this is where the game gets boring, he kind of tells you to go somewhere, and then you go there, and you sit through a little cutscene, and you do a race, and then you sit through another cutscene. And these cutscenes aren't really cutscenes. They're basically just different angles that your car can be viewed from as you're getting ready to win a race, or if, if you just won a race, or you're getting ready to start a race. And then you go back to your garage, and you can check out your new car and take pictures of your new car, and then you go out and do it all over again. And there's a little bit of variety to the races. Um, it wasn't that I hated the game. I, I really enjoyed it. it. It's got a really a lot of really accessible trophies or achievements, I'm sorry. But um, really, it, it's, it was just something kind of to fill time, and it worked really well for that. Other than that, I wasn't really impressed. It's a beautiful-looking game, though. Yeah, I enjoyed Forza Horizons, too, the little bit I got to play of it. And so... Um, I figured you'd be the best to talk about this anyway, just because you really like. Well, Fast see, and Furious. from what I and I didn't finish it, so I'm, but I'm assuming through the, that the rest of it will stay true to the experience that I had after playing for maybe an hour or so. That it really doesn't have, other than Ludacris being in the game and some achievement that I access that was trying to get me to give money to Ludacris's foundation for children or something like that. Um, <laughs> Ludacris has a foundation for children. The Luda Fund. I don't know what it was called. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> the Luda Fund? The Luda Fund. The Luda, the Luda Ludacris foundation. is really good with kids. It's like Luda, He's a philanthropist. <laughs> like Luda cares. <laughs> um, He's a philanthropist. But yeah, it didn't really have much to do with the actual lore other than several of the cars. They weren't. They didn't have the same paint jobs, but like you have the Super from the first movie. Um, not painted the same way, but you have a Super. You have a Jeep Wrangler from one of the movies with The Rock. Um, it was pretty cool for that. But other, Jeep again, Wranglers aren't fast. They're furious, though. It's true. Uh, if you have a small street car in the middle of the desert against a Jeep Wrangler, the Jeep Wrangler is fast. The the one the, that was the, the Wrangler race actually was like my favorite of the ones that I played, and that because you're racing a helicopter on and off road in the Wrangler, the and it's like it's like an it's like an armored Wrangler. <laughs> no, no, the helicopter <laughs> is using its wheels, and it's just <laughs> right, oh, right. it's tra- it's, it's, it's like it's like an ar- <laughs> yeah. it's like an armored Wrangler too, though. It's, it looks pretty ba. How in Which the world do you outrun a helicopter? <laughs> Bachelor of Arts. <laughs> All right. Hey, I have one of those. All right. You have a review and a word? I've stumped him. Ludicrous. I was going to say, I'm trying to decide between fast and or furious. I was can't it use either? Both. It, either or. It wasn't either. It was fast. It wasn't furious. Okay. There's a lot of speed. Like, I easily got to 200 Whoa. miles an hour. Did you have to water that speed, speed. plant? See, the thing, about, <laughs> the thing about planting speed is, <laughs> <laughs> is that you've got to, you've got to, You've got to make sure that you give it TLC, not THC. <laughs> TLC. <laughs> <laughs> All right, moving on. Thank you. I don't want to be welcome. here anymore. <laughs> Can I go home? Now we are moving on to reveal our final four for the protagonist madness bracket. Wait, 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 wait. I'm coming back. Go okay, on. okay. All right. Boom. I'm the good rock rock that shining. <laughs> It's just become retarded, now, and that's offensive <laughs> to many people. You, 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 you just saying that made it offensive. It was <laughs> Seth. <laughs> Seth, come on, man. Who, where are you at? You agree with me? Well, did I make? It I don't offensive? even. I don't even know where to begin. We just we were, we were making jokes earlier, and they were bad jokes. Well, I was I was just being actually. So Wasn't I'm me. on Luke's side because Woo! you started it all. <laughs> I didn't say it. I didn't do it with the children. All right, protagonist what? madness here. <laughs> hey, is that an actual uh, quote that I just didn't know, like a, a saying, or are you quoting Taylor Swift on purpose? What? Don't you worry your pretty little mind? I'm, I just say that all the time now. Don't okay. you worry yeah. your pretty little okay. mind. Me and t- t- T-Swizzle. T-Swizzle. shine and that makes yeah. love look hard. It's a good song. It's a great song. That's all I got. Like most of her songs. Mm. All right, here we go. Uh, in the the Ryu versus uh, Samus matchup, Samus won out. Samus. Oh! It's not even serious, Eric Samus. I'm I'm really impressed. And so they will face the winner of the Agent Forty Seven John Marston matchup, which was Agent Forty Seven. Yeah. So on that side of the bracket, we have Samus versus Agent Forty Seven, and then on the other side of the bracket, winning between Link and Laura Croft was. Laura Croft. Wow. That surprises me. And then they will take I'm seeing on... a pattern here. Uh, the It seems like the protagonists that are winning so far all have breasts. No, Agent 47 doesn't. He, he has breasts. Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> he's a secret agent. He's a master of disguise. <laughs> <laughs> well, here you go. The winner of the Master Chief versus Sonic matchup was 
Master Chief. So we'll have Samus fa- facing Agent Forty Seven and Laura Croft facing Master Chief. He's got a lot. He's got a lot of armor on, so he could have breasts. And he's he's jacked up on so many steroids, dude, from all his years of <laughs> like gene therapy. Do we actually know if he's, if he's a dude or, or a guy? his name's John? What is happening? I mean, John can be a lady's name. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Uh, hello, hello, my name is John. Actually, I, I do know a lady named Johnny. Yeah. So you're not wrong. I know. I laughed at you <laughs> like you were. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> ha! <laughs> Who has the last giggle So it's going to be Master Chief versus Samus, pretty much. Is that what we're saying? Sweet. That'd Moving so on. cool. Outside the window says, that guy is not a half-bad singer talking about you. Me? Yeah. You ain't half bad. Oh, thanks, buddy. You're singing T-Swizzle. Just hang around for the after party, and Luke loves to sing there. Yeah, it's great, and especially like when I'm in the middle of a talking point. Yep. And then they just start singing. I love it. Just don't say the words, turn around. Turn around. <laughs> no, 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 you did it on purpose. Stop, stop, stop. You did it on purpose, you turkey. Uh, I didn't mean to. All right. Turn let's move around. On. I'm sorry. Let's move on to everyone's favorite segment, the random question of the week. Random the question, question of, of the week for, for the, the month, month, for the week. For the the month, week. For the week. Right, British. That was going to be the best one. Now, here's podcast. the thing. We are not, uh, <laughs> we are not uh, saying anything about British people. I just have a terrible British accent. So Now he chooses to apologize. Yeah. Say that. I'm not apologizing. Now that we've offended you for an hour. <laughs> Uh, and also, if this is your first podcast, usually the jingles are actually jingles, and that may be better for some of you. I don't know. I'll do, we'll do, let's do a real random question of the week. Okay. Right. Here we go. No, just yeah. don't. One. It was fine. Two, two, one, two, three, four. Random question of the week for the month for this week. That ended Luke beautifully. Was in a really I'll give high that to major, you. major uh, key there. We were or in a minor key, and we were in a little major key. Major key. key. It worked out. I'm sorry. Major key. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The random question of the week this month. This week. <laughs> I'm stupid. I didn't, I didn't even mean to do that. Uh, is what was a game that was nearly perfect for you but fell short due to one flaw? I would like to open up the discussion. Go ahead. Please I do. Still open that discussion. The online play for The Last of Us. I would almost give it an 11 out of 10 except for one little flaw where they fell short and that was that they required you to pay for some weapons and I feel like if any other game was to do that they would get raked over the coals for it but just because it's the last of us and it's awesome they kind of got a pass on it and it's fine because the last of us multiplayer was great and uh, obviously the single player but to hide weapons behind a paywall I think is uh, pretty dirty. So I'm going to go with The Last of Us. Are we only allowed one answer? Do you have multiples? Because I can't I think have of two. a single. <laughs> Please, go ahead. Give, give right. us both okay. of them. Give us both. Uh, <clears throat> the first one is, there's a game, uh, it was almost a perfect game. I, I loved everything about it, the mechanics, the, the, the multiplayer. But if Destiny had had a story, it would have been excellent. <laughs> I think Destiny was going to be mine if I had one. <laughs> but their lack of story made it just an okay game for me. Um, and then the the other one was... Uh, what? Oh, it's a, you're good. Oh. Go ahead. <coughs> the other one was... Um, I was a huge fan of the Prince of Persia trilogy back on the original Xbox generation. Um, best gaming trilogy I think I've ever played as far as story goes. Loved it. Uh, then the first Prince of Persia game that came out on the 360 was with a totally different prince. Had had this beautiful, beautiful trailer. Um, and then they changed the artwork, but it was still kind of pretty. Uh, and, and interesting story, but it had one glaring flaw that just made me totally unable to finish the game. You literally could not die. And for me, I have to have some kind of a challenge to drive me. And a game where if I fall off the ledge or someone beats me down, I just zap over a little distance away and I'm fine and like it just killed the game for me alright I'm thinking I'm going to go back to Destiny 2 just because <coughs> it's the only thing I can think of and the story part doesn't really bother me as much because it only gives us a snippet of the story but they're going to be serving in this game over 10 years and I'm sure that they're going to be having more DLC packs that will be coming out and I'll pay for each and every one of them probably um, the 
the thing that I really got upset about with Destiny is that it really requires you, or not so much anymore because they've added more matchmaking to strikes and things like that. But um, it's, still with raids, it requires you to be social and to really get the most out of the game. And for players like me that, you know, all you guys go to bed at midnight and I'm up till like 4 in the morning, and that's when I do most of my gaming, I can't really get that kind of action out of the game. I mean, I don't want to meet strangers and weirdos online. Mm-hmm. Say so no to strangers. Stranger danger. Stranger danger. So, yeah, I, I, Destiny's kind of mine, for lack of a better thing to think of. I, and I've, I've sat here, and I thought about it, and I thought about it, and I thought about it, and I just don't, I don't have one for me, because my, my criteria for games are a little bit la- less uh, intense than most people. So for me, I don't. I kind of look. I, I like to look past a lot of the flaws and not let them get in the way of a lot of what I, my experience with things. So for me, I don't. I don't really have. If it if a game wasn't exceptional to me, then it was terrible most of the time. I don't really have a middle of the road kind of uh, kind of game. So uh, we've had someone say. God of War three, the ending was very disappointing. <clears throat> Did we have anyone else respond? Whatever you're most, uh, I actually really that was half baked Paul. Yeah, it was half baked Paul. Um, who is typing? This is a question we've gotten quite a couple times this episode. Uh, <laughs> it is our producer Dizzy that's already show him his. Your hand. Um, show him your hand. Yeah, show him your hand. That's all you get to see right there. Yeah, it's not in there. Like it's not in there. Peek over, like just give him the eyes. Hold on, he's gonna squirt someone's head. No! <laughs> <laughs> oh all right. Awesome. Uh, well, that's it, and that's all. And we're gonna get out of here. And uh, Seth uh, went to go make a pee- left. short yeah. podcast. Went to go make a pee pee, I guess. So we're gonna start over here. Um, and we're well, we're gonna add something to this. Tell them what you've been playing this week. Um, <clears throat> what have I been playing this week? What haven't you been playing? Oh, the show. I mean, I played a lot of the show this week. I didn't play a ton of video games this week because we had a youth event this weekend. But uh, I pl- I played a lot of the show this week. Uh, mostly all that I played. Um, uh, my name is uh, Who Bomb Trady. I was going to give you Nature Hankins, but I, don't, I never use that. I'm Who Bomb Trady. You can find me at Who Bomb Trady, all one word on PSN and on Twitch. Uh, I should be streaming this week at some point. Maybe some Destiny, maybe some Dying Light with the fellas, um, maybe some Mortal Kombat X. I don't know if I just, if I decide to get that game. Uh, it looks awesome. I feel like I really want it. So maybe. Um, and then you can find me on Xbox at uh, Who Bomb Trady three words. Who Bomb Trady. Yep. Um, I'll do Seth's for him. This is Seth Douglas Martin. Uh, you can find him on the Xbox Live at Dongzors, and you can find him on uh, Twitch and PlayStation Network at Buttzors, B-U-T-T-Z-O-R-Z. He's got a whole monopoly on the lower lower half of the body. Is there anything else you get? What are you, oh, gosh. What are you breaking this week? What, <laughs> okay. what is that? It's a sword. It's a sword. What, what have you been playing this week? Um, I'm playing on the Master Chief Collection. Ah. played Fast and the Furious a little bit. I played uh, the show. And I actually started popping in Destiny trying to get some... I've been expecting the House of Wolves to be released. Not released any day, but announced any day. And it was, lo and behold. So I'm starting to try to get some Ascendant materials together. Get some uh, Crucible marks. And I'm going to be buying some armor as soon as the House of Wolves drops. And I'm going to start leveling up fast because I'll never be able to do that last raid to level up to the max. All right. Mark? Uh, I've been playing Dying Light. And I'm loving that game so much. And... So this week I'll be doing this, more of the same, and uh, I'm on Twitch and Twitter at Lair Hunts Zombies. This week I need plan to play some. Oh, I'm sorry. L A R Hunts Zombies. You jerk. Um, I will be playing some Mortal Kombat. I hope this week, and that's, I'm, that's what I, I, said. I might stream it. Or, that, buddy? Someone remind me to stream because I always do, and then we end, get up, end up talking, and none of us stream. Hey, if you stream, would you stream from the Player Three podcast? I could. Page? Give me, give me the password. Right, yeah, I got you. I'll no. give it to you right here. It's <laughs> just kidding. Okay, uh, I am Luke Croft. You can find me on PSN at uh, Lodger Blackman. L O D G E R Blackman. You can find me on Xbox Live at Download a Hoagie. And uh, this week I played a lot of the show. I played some Batman, uh, Lego Batman 3 on the Vita. Um, I got a new memory card for my Vita, so I'm going to be playing a ton of crap on my Vita now. And uh, 
yeah, I'm probably going to be streaming a lot of the show this week as as well. Um, uh, we had a lot of people stop by. It was a lot of fun. Uh, we are the Player 3 Podcast. You can find us right here at twitch.tv slash player 3 podcast, youtube.com slash player 3 podcast, um, facebook.com slash player 3 podcast. Follow us at player 3 podcast on Twitter, and then you can find us on iTunes, Podbean, Stitcher, all those beautiful places at uh, player 3 podcast. That's it. That's all, folks. Thanks for stopping by. Hello and welcome to no, no, the. No, 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 no. <laughs> Come on, dude. Play the rocker. Oh man, I forgot P3. about that. P3. Sigh. P3P. P3P. All right, hello guys, and welcome to hello, Go hello, ahead. and welcome to the Player Three Podcast After Party Lounge, the only Player Three Podcast lounge where. I, everything I can think of is bad. Then don't. Bad <laughs> it's, it's adult <laughs> stuff. What's up, Snail King? Podcast. Thank you. Larry, the Rondo mean. jersey is my jersey, and I love it. I'm going to touch it. Cool. I didn't you mean to interrupt you, and I didn't mean to interrupt person. you. I just got over anxious to say things. Zephyr, oh, I, I would love okay. to have you watch that stream, but I can't promise that it will be any good because I really suck at those games. I just what? really enjoy playing them. What happened? He said it'd be really. Good. he might watch that Mortal Kombat stream. I'm not very good, but I'll probably just get really frustrated at it. And Is this your job? Are yeah. you going to online stream it? Maybe. Cool. What's going on right now is the after show. Well, the show's over, so now we're just goofing off and uh, you guys can interact with you. And uh, we interact with you guys. Um, someone, uh, why isn't there a stream of an actual stream on Twitch? What? Hey, oh. I got you. Where's the soundboard? <laughs> <laughs> okay, we did get a. Um, we did get a question during the show. This is, comes from Pure Detroit 09. Is he still in here? I'll check. I figured out We're you can not check the names. Oh, he is still in here. What's up, Pure oh, Detroit? Oh, hey, Leanna's now? actually still here, too. Leanna. She doesn't talk much anymore. Yeah, she hates you now. She told me. She called me and told me. <laughs> <laughs> um. All right, so the Pure Detroit 09 asks, what has been the best sports game of the year? Let's do calendar year, so from last May to now. Can I go first? Y yeah. <laughs> yeah, this should be good. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, best sports game so far this year. I'm going to have to go. The show, man. You're gonna yeah, go the show. I'm gonna I mean, say the show it. because it's the only sports game that I play. There's no answer yeah. other than the show for. I mean, best sports game. Of the, I mean, you want true sim. You want something that's uh, very craftily put together. That's that's the show. Uh, yeah, I totally agree. Uh, the 2K was awesome. I I love their franchise mode. But until they put online franchise back into the game, I it'll never be the best sports game of the year. Nope. There will always be something that I can find. That's better. I really did enjoy IDARB. FIFA 15 was really good, but for me, it would have to be um, MLB The Show. Does Mortal Kombat count as a fighting sim? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> most definitely. It's arguably the most realistic. <laughs> Secret Secret, uh, how excited are you to be doing a review of Mortal Kombat for us? Is that still happening? Yeah, yeah. He's Dude, very excited. He I'm, with, I'm with Half-Baked Paul. What would Half-Baked Paul say? Blitz for the N64 is the best oh, sports game of this year right, or any right. year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I I would agree. <laughs> Zephyr Baby, I'm sorry, I haven't been on. Uh, well, I've been on PlayStation 4 a little bit, but I never see you on. And so I, I just, I actually don't think I've ever actually sent a message on PSN <laughs> through the console. Mm. I'm usually just doing party chat or something like that. But if we, if I ever see you on, I think if you're in London, England, or England in general, London, um, our schedules are probably going <laughs> to get mixed up a little bit. <laughs> No, 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 I, I don't usually get on until at midnight or later in um, over here. I have no idea what time that is across the pond. It's a a good good time. A good time. <laughs> it's always a good time. That's what it, they say. <laughs> is there an actual song that you guys could briefly all harmonize for uh, Outside the Window? Because you are all lovely singers. What? Okay, mm. let's just let's do this. Let's mm. all three <clears throat> think of a song. And uh -huh. sing it at the same and time. And sing it on the count of three. Is that is that that's a, sort of the same thing as harmonizing, right? <laughs> nope, okay. not at all. It's going to sound great. <laughs> I, I think I think that's actually the exact definition of harmonizing. So, all right, I'm going to think of one. Hold on, hold on. Uh -huh. I got mine. All right, I got mine. You got yours. Um, I, are we starting at the beginning of the song, or just like, wherever you want? Gosh, it's, what? Not... it's always got to be so complicated. <laughs> with that. Every question turns into twenty more questions. Okay. Ben is the Hydra of questions. Uh, I'm ready. I'm ready. You got it? Yeah. All right, here we go. One, two, 
Three, four, yeah. who's that dressing scandalous and looking at us and revelation and looking at that thing like when I say what, 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 I want it all night long, <laughs> yeah. that was atrocious. <laughs> what did you say? I was singing uh, "Kiss from a Rose," but I couldn't get through the first verse because there I couldn't used concentrate. To be a great I really time had to think about the words. On the sea, you <laughs> <remain>. <laughs> My the light on the dark side of me, me. Love remains a drug that's a high and I feel Did you know that when it snows My eyes become larger and the sky that you shine can be seen Maybe I can take you to a kiss from a rose on the grave Seal's going to sue us for so much money. (laughs) (laughs) The best thing about that is that nobody knew most of the words. (laughs) (laughs) You just go... You you mumble, and then you really get into the parts you know. The half-baked Paul says, play a three-seal cast. (laughs) You probably couldn't even tell that we weren't the actual seal. From our voice or skin tones. Did, or, did or, that, <laughs> was one of the episodes of Community I made you guys watch the one where he had to do a duet of that song with the Dean and Chevy Chase locked himself in the room with paint fumes <laughs> no, and there was an old hippie. That. No. It'll make your day. Is that the one where he's like, this is all gay code? Because that's my Yes, favorite actually. Episode. Is it? I think. I'm pretty sure. Oh, okay, yeah. I like that Because it's hashtag Annie's move. Tweeting it. I knew that. Did you? Yeah. You, you get this. This is all gay code. <laughs> I knew that. It's pretty awesome. Community spoilers. You're right. Uh, Chevy Chase actually dies in the paint yeah. fume room. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and the homeless guy kills um, Britta. Gosh, and uh, Oh, Zephyr really hasn't seen the last four episodes. Oh, well, this is like mid-season two or three. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. We're good. Yeah, baby, Zephyr needs to watch some community episodes. We're gonna go see It Follows tonight. At least some of us. No, song. no, we're not actually. It's oh, five o'clock and ten fifteen. Where at? Danville. What about Movie Town? It's not playing Movie Town. Maybe we can watch it another day. What about Hollywood? Week. Never I, mind. I don't, don't want to go there. I don't, I don't, I, I, there. I don't support Hollywood unless. How do people feel about Saturday? No, not great. Okay. We've got plans Saturday Welcome to Disappointment 3 Podcast. <laughs> this is a bunch of bull crap. I'm let's your go, host, let's Larry. Go a, let's go make it. It follows. Yeah, let's go Follow stalk people. someone. <laughs> and then kill them. Like that YouTube series I want to start. You just got your throat slit? <laughs> <laughs> uh, nonchalant Destruction. It's like Oh, paired. yeah. We also want to do Nonchalant Destruction. No, no. You just got your throat slit. It's paired with it. No, no, no. So we can't, like we can't merge it. No, no, no. No, 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 no. No. If you it's just only got your third slit was started by me and Ryan McDaniel. Go ahead. If it's only shown at two times, we're running out of time before it's yanked out of theaters. So ten o'clock is good with me. I'm kidding. I know. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you done lost your mind. It's fine with me, but I know you guys. Again, we work on very different schedules. So uh, anyway, yeah, you just got your throat slit is a YouTube channel where people get their throat slit. And then we hop in front of the camera and yell, you just got your throat slit, and we walk away. Um, it's going to be a moneymaker. But Nonchalant Destruction, the first episode of it, um, someone is going to be driving their car, and they are just going to nonchalantly drive it into the automatic doors of a Walmart, crushing things and people. and but In order, to, in order to be nonchalant, it needs to be at a very slow speed. Yeah, it's a, yeah. Slow, it's a slow speed, but like people still, <laughs> for some reason, just cannot get out of the way. It's fast enough to get through the yeah. metal, though. Yeah, well, and not then, even that. Like You just kind of dent the metal a little bit and kind of slowly push your way through, like yeah. birth. Oh, <laughs> it's, it's like this nightmare that Dizzy had once that hopefully I, I quote this correctly, but he was driving up the road in his car, and he wound up in the midst of like a, a bicycle race. How is that a nightmare? Bicycle marathon. There are so many points. No, no, involved. listen, listen. And and he started to like, he was trying to, and they were all naked, and he was trying to oh maneuver his way through them 
without hitting anybody, in, but he barely taps one. And as soon as he taps them, they just explode into this bloody mess. <laughs> and so he jerks the wheel and he hits more. And every time he even so much as touches one, they just explode in this gory death. Oh, see, I thought it was going to be that they were all naked and he hit them. And then it's just naked dude butt all over his windshield. <laughs> That'd be horrible. Sort of like the Game of Thrones yes, from here last night. But not the rest of the body. <laughs> and then, then you can't get it off with the windshield wiper. <laughs> so it's just yeah, smearing enough. the butt everywhere. <laughs> Um, but anyway, so you park in this Walmart and you get out and you go to shut the door and you're just like about to go get your grocery shopping on. And then you turn around and you're like, oh my gosh, oh crap. And you walk over and you lock it because you forgot to lock the door and then you continue about your day. And then the next episode is you realizing that you forgot to bring your wallet. So you back the car out of the Walmart. So we've determined Ben is driving the car. <laughs> <laughs> hey wife. Hi. Ben forgets Hello. his wallet a lot. Yeah, if you ever forget your wallet and uh, someone has to pay for it, you, just tell them they got Ben Hankins because Ben does that all the time. My like third date with my wife, I did that. Nice. I mean, that's how you do it. That's how you determine if a girl's worth being right. with, I think. We it's, went to a – actually, our very first date, we went to Danville to watch a movie, and we went to CT's Pizza Buffet, and she ate more pizza than me. That's how I knew she was uh, the one. <laughs> <laughs> true, <laughs> true love. <laughs> Love, uh, twoo, uh, one time I got to you. witness Luke Croft giving uh, dating advice to a teenage boy, but it was deliberately bad advice. And that was one of the things was forget your wallet and make sure she pays for everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, compliment her. So, so say, when you left the house today, did you intend to look like a homogenous blob? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> man. Now he's in love. Again. Who is this person? Very first date, we smeared some butt. <laughs> Big Paul. All right. Weird. This was in that car by himself. Who was he on a date with? Were you driving with anybody in that dream? Yes. Oh, don't make him answer that. Okay. I don't. I I, I, I already know. It's a butt smearing uh, festival going on. <laughs> Three? Mm. Oh, well, there he was one of them. Hey. Okay, I was there, and Billy was there then. One sent one of the people's okay. name sounds like it's two letters, so, but it's not. So it really was multiple men in the same room and lots of butts everywhere. It was like yes. the Game of Thrones no. premiere no. last night. No. Oh. oh, okay. Sorry, we're having our conversation. I'm oh, having a hard time remembering Dizzy's dream. They were there were, mul- there were multiple men in a small room and there were butts everywhere. It was like the Game of Thrones premiere last night. Yes, yes, a lot of butts. Oh, uh, is everyone's a date report from your date last week? Oh, how was your date, Diz? How was your date, Diz? Diz, Diz, how was your hey, date? Hey, Diz, how was your date? Hey, Diz. Thanks for that follow. Off camera talk. Ben Sonson. It was good. I'll be your mouth. She can't hear you. Say some more. It was nice. <laughs> Where'd you guys get? I'm not on screen. <laughs> Although the one episode he was on was awesome. He just doesn't like to give himself any credit. Yeah, everybody wants he more Diz. Oh, yeah, that was the stream. I was talking about the podcast episode you were on. Was that a live stream? Uh, when we podcasted? Mm-hmm. No. No, it wasn't a live stream. Nah. You're very pretty. You have a face for radio. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> um, You guys, give your uh, best description of what you think Dizzy looks like in yeah. the comments. Um, just guesstimating as to what Dizzy looks like. Um. J- judging by how he responds to your comments in the Twitch and then the little bit you get to hear him talk. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Yeah, he did do that. Oh, yeah, that is true. He, he was... <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> you spelled it wrong. <laughs> you spelled it wrong. Milky513 asking all the tough questions up here. I, we can't read him, though. So. I, don't, I don't see why we can't. Well... Well, <laughs> we've, already, we've already said it so many times. Smears That's... a button. But it's, it, I guess it's different when it's a wife of a person. Oh, my gosh. But I just read the question now. So. I, didn't read, I didn't read the question. I worked my way around it gently. Just like you would do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, bonus level. <laughs> That's the, that's the DLC to catch a predator. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! When Chris Hansen shows up here, like, hey, how you doing? I, I was just here to. I, I want to read this message some to you. <laughs> hey man, some, uh, I just heard there was butt. a thousand piece puzzle involved, and I had one of the missing ones. 
Oh, okay. Did that an answer one time? <laughs> no. Uh, I just made that up. I've thought about a lot what I would say if I What's ever... me of the week? Clap, clap. <laughs> <laughs> Did, uh, so no one wants to guess what Diz looks like? No, yeah, seriously. It's, it's very upsetting to me. I would guess oh, he's while like we're a... waiting, I'm going to sing the Frasier theme song. It goes a little no, something. No, well, baby, no, I hear the blues are calling. Toss salads <laughs> and scrambled eggs. Mercy. I would uh, I would assume... <laughs> I'm gonna. <laughs> <laughs> Zephyr Baby says I thought Diz was like an Eggman with a safari hunting hat on. Like Humpty Dumpty. I would think he. Or would. like Eggman from Sonic. He looks like a five ten redhead jump. jump, jump or with, like. Uh, he's got a ju- he's got a blue jumper on. <laughs> or like I am the Eggman. Like, like a I male Pippi Longstocking. Cuckoo, cachoo, cuckoo, cuckoo. <laughs> We've got two conversations going on. Yes. Oh, do we have another one? Because it was sloth. Sloth. The thing um, from Goonies hey grew up and is doing so on the Player 3 podcast. Just Sloth. imagine Wendy from Wendy's with short hair, a mohawk even, and a blue jumper singing show tunes. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's what Dizzy looks like. Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm trying to think of how to describe Dizzy to you. It's very attractive. Okay, it. <laughs> you've got to you got to mix Dimitri Martin with somebody. Yeah. You got to mix Dimitri Martin with Cheryl Crow. <laughs> no, better yet, mix what? Dimitri Martin with Cher. No, no, <laughs> no. Who's, the, who's, no. The, who's the lady who sang rose, uh, raspberry wine or strawberry wine, whatever it was? Uh, Deanna Carter. Okay, her. <laughs> <laughs> Is that true? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> I'll sing it right now. <laughs> <laughs> mix. The, only part I know is strawberry love wine seventeen. That's it. That's all I know. Except you thought it was called raspberry wine. <laughs> <laughs> it was raspberry a ras- wine. Raspberry vinaigrette. Seven. <laughs> Wendy's full circle. They have raspberry vinaigrette. But how was that full circle? What were we talking about Wendy's? And then you have to help make sure everybody's got their food and your mascot is really good with kids. Yep. Wendy's full circle. <laughs> I bet if I Google Dizzy Cooper, Dizzy actually comes up. Probably. But if you mix Dizzy with Clifford the Big Red Dog, if you mix Cheryl Crow with Clifford, with Dimitri Martin, with with a little bit of marshmallow fluff, will any of you be getting Mortal Kombat X on PS4? I'm if if you search Dizzy Fox Cooper... Personally. Oh, sorry. Seth, I believe, is. Right? Yeah, I'll get it for the Xbox, though, because I've, oh. I've just got too many games for my PS4 right now. Too many games? Too many games. If you search Dizzy Cooper, Dizzy's mom is actually the first result. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Check it out. And Check it out. <laughs> <laughs> Mix Diz with Dizzy from Game of, War, uh, Game of Wars 3. Gears of War 3. Or God of War 3. Or God of War 3. Was there a Dizzy in Gears of War 3? Yes. It's a beard. Yeah, Diz it's can't true. grow a beard. Diz has a chin strap beard, if that helps. Goes just around the chin. We want him to just grow a mustache, but he's a children's minister. I'm not that good with kids. Oh, oh man. Uh, if, if you search Dizzy Cooper in quotes, which means the words have to be together on Google, uh, Tim Hunt comes up. Oh, wow. That's crazy. <laughs> that's very cool. Neat. Neato, Neato burrito. That's Man, super Nito. duper. <coughs> oh, there you are. You Dizzy is on the page eventually if you search Dizzy Cooper with quotes. With quotes like we found you. Dizzy around, uh, quotes around the, Dizzy this, quotes around the whole Dizzy thing. Dizzy this mid jog dog. Yes, that's the one. You hit the nail right on the head. I've never seen Dizzy myself actually. Oh my gosh. There's a picture of Player Keith. It's not really like an Amish oh. style beer, milk, uh, beard, milky five one three. Um, it it really is just like very narrow all the way through around the chin there. Yeah, oh, Bradley Cooper here. Hey, we never uh, covered Zephyr's review of what the podcast. Didn't you review the podcast? Oh, on did, there it, did earlier? He? Yeah. yeah, he did. He did. Uh, uh, don't we? Aren't we supposed to do it on the real show though? Right? Yeah, we'll do it on the real uh, show right? next I'm, week. Yeah, I'm curious to read it right now. Okay. I thought Zephyr left us a, uh, a review at another time, but I might be Maybe mistaken. This is the remix. 
Too many cooks. 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 It takes a lot to how long this can go for. Especially when it's me and you. A dash of water. Well, and oftentimes the it yeah, like it hasn't been updated yet to show your make it nice and you're not gonna be here next week, so we need to too many cooks. Too many cooks. Too many cooks. I'm sorry, Zephyr. What about Vegeta? What's up, Winning Dog 2? Who did? Who We're in the Player know? 3 Party after show party podcast. It's the Player 3 Podcast after party lounge. There I just purchased it today. Here's our best friend. Yeah, tell tell him about this. Just I, got it today. That's, that's it. That's I all I know about look, it. Look, of Borg. Myself. I'm going to get all the Dragon Ball Z ones, which I'm very underwhelmed with how uh, few Dragon Ball Z pop heads there are. But it's only six. Like any number of them would should make you feel grateful. I mean, they don't have any of like, like they don't have anybody else. They have Goku, Vegeta, and Piccolo, and then they have a Super Saiyan Goku. Like, where's Gohan? Where's Tien? Where's Yamcha? <laughs> Seriously, I have no idea who those people are. So, where's Mr. Popo? Yeah, Mr. Popo. Where are they? All right, so we're going to give out Seth's phone number. He's the classic blackface character. It's uh, 634. It is 276. 634.